Hey what's up everybody and welcome to this quick sneak preview of Horizon Zero Dawn. Today we're going to be looking at uh, the intro movie and then possibly when we move on a bit more into the general gameplay of how the graphics look, what's going on with the storyline, uh, a bit of the uh, combat me mechanics and uh, anything else that we might be able to get a quick sneak preview of. So without further ado I will uh, start the intro movie and uh, you guys enjoy. What's that now? Don't like the cold? Can't stay in today. We have a ritual to perform, you and I. Here. Wear this. It belonged to my daughter. Today, I speak your name, girl. But will the goddess speak it back? Well, normally, it would be the mother who declares, if you had one. The whole village would attend, and matriarchs perform the ritual, but we are outcasts. Even so, we keep the tribe's rituals. Otherwise, we might become like the faithless old ones who turned their backs on the goddess. But their wickedness doomed them. To us, were left the splendors of creation, beasts of air, Water, earth, and steel. It is one thing to hunt a beast, another to hunt a machine. You must be humble and respect their power. I will teach you this. One day. Matriarch Tirsa, what is she doing here? Does she mean to forbid the ritual? No, 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 off your knees. It's nearly time. And yes, you may speak to me. You came to bless the naming. Have not six months gone by since we entrusted her to you. But we are outcasts. You by choice. And she, well... <laughs> I am a high matriarch, Rost. I bless whom I choose. Then you honor us. Yes, yes, now go! And be ready to declare. Go! Oh, mother, this child needs a name by which to know her. That your love may warm her life as the rising sun warms all the earth. Speak her name! <laughs> and so her name is blessed. Stop this at once! 
What have you done? I've blessed the naming of a child. Stubborn woman, you call that curse a child? What did she tell you about his birth outcast? Answer! I've done only what you asked. To raise it, yes. We said nothing of love. Enough. And you, blessing its name like it was one I of the I know my duty to them. Five. And to you. Without consultation. I'm here. And wherever you go, I will follow. Hey what's up everybody, welcome back. When you start this game, as you can see, uh, we are now a very young version of Eli, we're a child version of Eli, and she is uh, looking around the world and exploring the world around her. So I'm just going to, during this playthrough and the sneak peek at this game, I am actually going to just show you uh, how the game plays, how it looks, how the mechanics work, and I will be showing you very small cutscenes. Go and see if you can find some mom. Well done, that's a good boy. <laughs> Children, come with me. She's an outcast to be shunned. Now, as brutal as that was, that opening sequence of the game, I, I certainly I thought it was. I thought it was, uh, it kind of connects you with the character a bit. Uh, we are now in the cave but I can get through. where uh, Aloy has fell down into as she looks to explore the world around her, as I said previously. As you can see, looking around the game, that the graphics look absolutely stunning. They look fantastic, even the light, the way that it shines off the water and everything. It just, for me, it was an absolute work of art and it was a pleasure uh, to be able to bring this game to you in this video and actually show you how stunning the game actually looks and plays. Here comes another cutscene, which uh, I'm going to show you right now, where you find a focus. Lights everywhere. As you go on to proceed through this game, you will actually notice that uh, focus actually lights up anything that's electronic within the actual area. 
but I'm not going to give away too much of that. Because it wouldn't be fair to you guys if you decide that you're going to play this game or not. I could totally recommend this to you, though. I actually thought it was a brilliant idea of PlayStation to make this a PS4 only exclusive. So that means that you cannot actually buy this for the Xbox 360. Now as you move on a little bit further on, I just thought I would edit that out so that I don't give away any of the puzzles. You encounter your first use of the focus. So I'm going to show that to you guys now. If you want it this way, it's the best I can do. He's right behind you. Hi! <laughs> Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. Look, Daddy can't be there with you and Mom, but... We can still have a party, right? <laughs> sure we can. <laughs> Show me. Show me again. What can do is right behind you. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. Look, Daddy can't be there with you and Mom, but we can still have a party, right? <laughs> sure we can. <laughs> So as we move on to the next part here, Aloy is just escaping the cave and she's found her mentor Rost. So I'm going to show you this next clip as well. Come, take my hand. You don't belong down there. Come. <sighs> Such places are forbidden, Aloy. I fell in. They are of the metal world. What is that on your face? Nothing. Did you find it down there? No. Give it to me. No. Aloy, such things are dangerous. No! Sneaking away from home, you need to know how to survive in the wild. Come, Aloy. Home now. And starting tomorrow, you will learn to hunt. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm just going to now show you how Horizon actually plays. I'm going to be explaining the origins of Aloy and how she comes to be the young woman that you see on the front of the cover, and also how Rost is now a mentor to her as you traverse through the game and he shows you things like the mastery of arrows and medicine. Now this is only the precursor to the actual main game, this is, this is only the prologue, so I am just going to briefly show you how the gameplay works, how, the, how you can craft medicine, how you collect herbs and arrows and everything. So I will be showing you bits of clips and I will try and keep this as brief as I possibly can. And I don't really want to ruin a lot of the story, so I won't be telling you anything that happens beyond that. So I hope you guys enjoy this uh, little uh, preview video. And just, you know, if it, if it is beneficial to you, if it does help you bring a game, why don't you let me know? Leave us a comment in the comment section. Uh, I'll subscribe for more videos where I will be uh, now, you're still previewing other games. Yesterday. So let's start there. Take this medicine pouch. I'll show you how to fill it. See this plant over here? It's so as you can see now, moving around the game, everywhere that you look looks absolutely stunning. It looks graphically fantastic. And this is sort of like your average walkthrough at the start of a game where they mentor or the commentator during the game actually tells you where to go and what to pick up so I'm just going to pick this thing up here using triangle and Ross will no doubt explain this to you eat the berries they may taste bitter but they could save your life always keep your pouch full of medicinal berries now one th one thing I thought was absolutely fantastic about this was that even the grass in the breeze as you can see moving here and 
even like the everyday wildlife, as you can see there in the distance, I think it's a mongoose or a badger or a fox or something. <laughs> but either way, you can still see that moving around. And everything in this game is completely open world. Everything respawns at different locations, so it doesn't feel like your, grand, your average like Grand Theft Auto type of game. Everything is alive in this game, which I just think is a beautiful, beautiful touch by... Uh, must be respected. I will be beside you. By the producers of this game. Crouch and follow me into the tall grass. He's teaching you to crouch into this long grass, and you will actually see one of the main enemies in the game here. Stay low. They don't want... No, Aloy. Such machines are called watchers. You must learn to avoid their gaze. If you are to survive in the wilds, I will show you. Listen close and do as I do. Stay still. Wait for it to pass. Now, as you can see here, the even the rendered versions of these monsters and even the pre-rendered versions of these monsters, if you ever saw the beta, looked absolutely fantastic. They looked kind of a bit clunky in the beta version, but in the final product, as you can see here, it just looks and feels amazing. Even though, I don't know whether you can uh, see that and notice, but you see the grass moving. This is what I'm saying about everything being alive. The slower you move, everything moves as it would move in real life. Walking is quieter now. now, I actually thought that, for me, Sony making this a PlayStation exclusive was a fantastic idea. But that's probably me being biased as being a, a purely Sony man. Now, for me, I think that if you were to go and buy an buy a console solely off the basis of one game, for me, if I was an Xbox owner, it would be this game. It would totally be this game. I can't talk it up enough, especially on how it plays and looks. I mean, even when you look into the distance there on the... Uh, they didn't see or hear you. Into the horizon, so to say. Herd should be just ahead. Then, uh, as you can see, it just looks fantastic. It just looks truly beautiful. Now moving on a little bit further into the game, I'm going to be showing you the enemies and how they actually behave during the game. Like that watcher over there, it must be dealt with, or it will warn the herd and send them running before we get in range. Warn you? How? The machines speak to each other, Aloy, unless they are first silenced. Now you stay here on the ridge. On my signal, throw rocks and draw the watcher over to me. Wait for my signal. So, in this next part, I'm going to actually be throwing rocks, which you can do by pressing the down button on your D-pad. So I've thrown a rock there, now the watcher is going to be moving into the open land. As you can see. Now, it's actually asking me to throw the rock here, to this place, on the marker. So once I actually throw that there, you will see that it moves over to that location. And Ross kills it. Now I actually think that that looked pretty cool. Uh, throughout the game there are far, far more impressive deaths and uh, kill sequences. Which you will see as you play through the game yourself. Now you can actually search the enemies there, like as I've done, and it's showing that it will give you a metal shard and a wire. These things can be used to create arrows, which you will now see. So it's asking me to go and find some Ridgewood. Now Ridgewood is defined by these things here. As you can see, yeah. Now. For me, when I actually decided to play through this, I was not so much focusing on gathering things, but I totally recommend if you do play this game that gathering is so important. You really do need to collect as much resources as possible so that you can actually create the arrows. So I'm just going to show you the creation wheel is used by holding down the L1 button or LB button if you're on Xbox. Well, it won't be LB button if you're on Xbox because it's not for the Xbox. Sorry, sorry fanboys. But there you go. 
So you hold the X button down and it's created 20 arrows. And as you can see, you now have a bow and arrow. So this can be used to take down enemies at a distance or at close range. You actually have a spear in the later games where you can take down enemies at close range. So we're going to follow Rust here and I'm going to show you how you take down a monster. So, as you can see now, we are, we are in position to take it down. Strider, one of the weaker machines. But even a weak machine can kill a hunter if she's careless. You must study the hunter. Its hide is thick, but there are spots where it is vulnerable. Like its eye. Can you guess another? Now this is where your focus comes into handy in terms of monsters. If you actually press the RB button and you scan the monster, you can see that, you see the yellow bit there on the top? It's actually a canister. So anything that's yellow that's on a monster is tagged as a weak spot. Now you can actually tag the target by pressing R2, which I'm going to do now. And if you come out of it, is that a weakness? she now comments that the canister is a weak spot. The device. Showed me. But that plaything? Stop playing games. Now take down that strider. Target the eye or the canister. And if it charges, be ready to roll out of the way. So here you go. So now we're going to take down our first monster. So again, you can press the R, uh, the R three button on the analog stick to show that the enemy is there. And where its weak spot is, and it stays highlighted if you can see there. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take down the canister first. So if you take down the canister, it's alerted it, and if you shoot it in the eye now, one or two arrows should take it down. There you go. And we have just taken down your first Strider monster. Now again, you can collect things that come off it. You can't actually retrieve the arrows, but I'm gonna let this sequence play out here just so that you can see the rest of this clip but that is basically how the combat works throughout the game but you have much to learn tomorrow we train again what was that that boy the one running the brave trails follow Eloy quick Okay guys, well I'm going to leave this portion this portion of the game here as I don't want to ruin any more of the story for you. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was beneficial for you guys. I hope it helps you and encourages you to buy this game. And if you haven't got a PS4, then totally, I, 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 like I've said before, I cannot recommend getting a PS4 enough, if not just for this game, because it plays beautifully. Graphically, it's stunning. And the story is so long and it's completely open world so there is never a shortage of things to do. There's so many side missions to do and as I say I just really can't stress the benefit of this game enough. So anyway, I'm, as I say I'm going to leave a video here. If you liked it then please drop a like. If you've got any suggestions, comments, please just leave them below. And if you want to see some more videos like this then just let me know and I will be... I will be straight on it if you want any games or anything to be 
to be sneak previewed or reviewed, then I'm totally down for that. So you guys let me know, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you all later. Take care.